sponsored by Monopoly Tepeto. Uh, so we have comrades of the Youth League of MK have came in their numbers to protect the building so that we, the leadership, are able to proceed with what we do normally. It's ANC Monday, officials of the ANC meeting with officials of the Youth League, that thing will proceed. So we are not uh, deterred by this act uh, of counter-revolution. But it's, it's quite unfortunate that they are using our color. Some of them, uh, we can't account for them. Some of them are not members of the ANC. So we know that they are used, including by the opposition. Because they're saying they're just ANC members concerned and want to voice their concerns. No, ANC members who are concerned, they know where to raise their concerns. You don't raise your concerns through grandstanding and inviting the media. I mean, you guys know that you don't come here every Monday. So because there's grandstanding again here, so and bring unnecessary attention to the tool house. We really want to proceed with our day-to-day -day activities undisturbed. Do you think it's because you've come out in your numbers and actually been able to intimidate them not to come? No, we're not intimidating anybody. You can't come to the tool house in your numbers much and threaten to occupy and expect members of the ANC not to do anything about it. It's to defend their, their building, to defend their organization, and to defend their leadership so that we do what we normally do. Is there uh, an expectation that what happened at Shell House uh, so many years ago may happen here today? No, nothing is going to happen here because those cowards, as we are saying, they are no longer coming. So we are proceeding with our daily activities. Even if they came, the only thing we are going to do was not to allow them to occupy the tool house. Peacefully so. Occupiers of the tool house is the staff, full-time polit politicians, and those who may have been invited by the leadership of the tool house, of the ANC. Well, there's no general public. You would recall that it's not for the first time that this group attempts to have a march. They wanted to come to to disrupt one of our NECs of the ANC, and they were less than 30. It is because they don't have capacity to organize. La Mola and his people don't have capacity to organize. They know it. It's not for the first time. It's just a reputation of what's happened in the past. Uh, the members of the ANC who came here in their numbers, they are not here to intimidate anybody. They are here to defend their organization and its leadership because every Monday the officials of the ANC meet. So the membership of the ANC wanted to ensure that that happens without being disturbed. So there's nothing untoward about members of the organization defending their own property. And can you also repeat on what you just said about some of the people those are protesting are not even ANC members? Yeah, so it's, it's very easy to get an ANC t-shirt. It's not everybody who wears a t-shirt of the ANC is an ANC member. We are confident that these people are funded by counter-revolutionary forces, by monopoly capital. Uh, this agenda is to want to bring the ANC down to its knees. But it has proven that they would not succeed because our people, our members, would ensure that the ANC does not go down to its knees because of counter-revolution. But what about those who are members of the ANC and who are saying that uh, it's time for President Zuma to step down? What's your reaction to that? Any member of the ANC who wants Zuma to go, they must wait for a conference of the ANC to elect another leader. You don't stand in the street and say, Zuma go, because Zuma was elected by a conference of the ANC. So he will only go when there's a conference, not by marching and grandstanding. Is that why, the, is that why you are calling for an early election? That call of the Youth League for an elective con early Congress must not be abused by political opportunists. It's a view that we are dealing with it, inter with it internally within structures of the African National Congress. It is not for Grandchester to, to go and you want to use it. We are actually, as the youth, even prepared to wait for 2017 December because we are not impatient. There will be a conference anyway in 2017 December. So what about those who say that President Zuma deserves a third term as president of the ANC? Do you support that call? Well, the ANC has not opened succession debate yet, but Zuma, like any member of the ANC, because the Constitution of the ANC says a member of the ANC can elect and be elected. So Zuma is a member of the ANC in good standing. So if there are those within the structures of the ANC who want to elect him, it's not a problem. But we can't deal with it now because 
we have not yet opened for a succession for a debate on leadership come the next conference, whether it's early or it's in 2017 and scheduled December. We have not yet opened, so any member, including Zuma, can be like that. Why are some structures of the ANC still protecting President Zuma, even though the Constitutional Court had ruled that he violated his oath of office? Don't you think it's time for him to go? Well, the Constitutional Court has said Zuma must repay, and that's what he's going to do. What? So, so he's Violating doing that. Violating his oath of office? Don't you it's think that? We have, they have not said he must step down. The court, the Supreme court has never said he must step down. So he can't step down because grandstanders want him to step down.